Hey everyone, so I'm working on this project having a little bit of creative block, right? Like writer's block. Um, and this dashboard project is allowing me a little more creativity. I have a little more freedom. I don't have strict design guidelines or brand guidelines or something. But I'm just having trouble coming up with an uh, idea for like a visual identity for it and the types of layouts I want to use and all this stuff. So I want to show you how I use AI tools now to help me kind of brainstorm, come up with new concepts, and sometimes even come up with new ideas for visualizations. So this tool behind me, this is dreamstudio.ai. It's like a beta tool that's been released. And what it does, is let me, it lets me add a text prompt and set some settings, size, amount of processing, similarity to my, pro all these things. And it will generate images based off of it. So let me just show you how this works and what I do to kind of help me spark ideas. So I'm gonna start with a boring prompt here. I'm gonna say a performance marketing dashboard. Let's hit dream and see what happens. It's gonna give us an image. Uh, takes a little time here to process and we're almost there. Boom, okay, so we have this, we have this dashboard. Now this is a little boring, a little 90s, 2000s -y, like not my personal style. So I'm gonna say, okay, let's adjust our prompt a little bit. I'm gonna add on dribble to the end of my prompt. Dribble is like a, net, a social network type thing where designers post their images of their work. And sometimes if I add that, it will pick images that are more designer-y and use those for the, uh, for the image it generates. So let's see what it comes up with now. Nice, moving in the right direction here. This is looking a little more interesting. I kind of like this color palette more. You can see the faint echo of these like types of visualizations that it's obviously pulling from, but I'm not quite there yet. So I'm gonna add a little more to the prompt. I'm gonna say on dribble and then I'm gonna say wireframe UI because I really like wireframe and UI kind of mock-up images. And those are usually better prompts for pulling dashboard design. So let's just see what it comes up with. Let's see what we've got. Okay, this is looking more visually interesting. I don't really like this color scheme. This isn't my cup of tea necessarily, but we're moving in the right direction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it, set it to generate four images, and it's gonna come up with kind of four unique ideas that we can use as a jumping off point here. So let's see what it comes up with. All right, these are looking way more interesting already. So this is kind of what I do. I iterate through these different text prompts until it starts coming up with stuff I kind of like, and then I can use that as the basis for some of my designs. So here, kind of gray backgrounds is a very common thing you see on like a light, dark gray on a lighter gray. It's cool, it's not really what I'm digging right now, uh, for this project at least. This one's nice too, bright blue, I see, yeah, blues and pinks. You'll see this vapor wave kind of blue, pink, purple color scheme all over the internet and I find it echoes through to a lot of dashboard designs. So you'll see it in a lot of these uh, images that are generated. And then another kind of more classic subdued dark gray with some highlight colors on top. I kind of like this top part, but this isn't what I'm going for. But then there's this. This is something where I see some ideas that I might want to pull from. And this is the beauty of this process is it's tapping into that creative kind of left side of our brain. And instead of giving us like a literal, here's a dashboard design that you should copy or something, it's just saying, here are some ideas to work with in a way. At least that's how I see it. So I like, if I'm gonna be using gauge charts, part, pie charts, donut charts, I like this kind of colored overlay thing. And I actually kind of like the beginnings of the color scheme here. And I like that it's on a dark gray background or a dark gray card kind of design that's then on this blurred background. So what I'm doing here is I'm kind of like digging into these weird ideas and saying, hey, here's this, here's the seed I need to get started on this kind of creative effort. And AI tools right now seem to be really great for that. And it's something I think that gets overlooked, especially with data, which is so right brain logic kind of focused. Um, I think tapping into that design side and even using this as a way of like saying, hey, I don't really understand color schemes and all of that. This could be a place for you to start, to start kind of pulling those ideas in and then applying them in your own work. So anyway, just a really interesting set of tools. Uh, I think everyone should go play around with these at least. It seems like this is a kind of like a new function unlock in the creative space and in the design space that we shall all be aware of and testing. Anyway, thanks so much, everybody. Hope this was helpful and fun. Let me know if you're using these tools for something similar. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, all right, have a good one. Bye.